Okay. Now, the subject of this talk is the mind. Uh -huh. See, the mind is a real enigma. Nobody really understands what it is. There's incredible confusion about the mind. But it's very, very important in life itself to understand the role of the mind. You see, it is currently confused with the brain and the psyche in almost every area that addresses human behaviour and well-being. See, to sum up, it is fair to say that nowhere are there extant definitions that distinctly describe and separate the role and function of the three entities, mind, body and spirit. Incidentally, the brain is simply a function of the body, a part of the body, I should say, a vital element, of course, but nevertheless merely a part of the body. See, I recently realised that the mind, and I quote, is the interface between the being and the material universe in which we play the game of life. I'm still coming to terms with this momentous realisation. I say momentous because its magnitude is of such incredible proportion and importance in the understanding of human life that it defies description. I can only read people have said and written on many occasions, life is very simple. And understanding the role of the mind is extremely simple. Yes, well, absolutely, because um, as you say, people are mixing, mixing the mind and the, and the brain up. And um, I totally agree. I've never seen any good definitions of those different parts that you talked about. It's made me think about it. Thank you. Yeah, they, they're they always confused, you see. Mm -hmm. Anyhow, you see, um, what I want to do is do a little exercise. When I give a person a session, a complete stranger, I've got to give them a, 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 an education to start off the procedure. And the, the procedure is based on the fact that there are three major elements, and which I use are apple, house and motor car. Uh -huh. Now, incidentally, I select them at random because of their commonplace existence and simplicity. But voicing the name of any other object in a like manner will produce the same result. Now, here is how it will go in a session. That's how we start. Now close your eyes, please. Okay. Good. Apple. Now what colour is the apple you are looking at? Yeah, uh, green. Uh, Granny Smith, I love that. Fantastic. Okay. House. Now what's it made of? Oh, uh, brick. Brick. Very good. Now one more example. Motor car. What colour is the motor car you're now looking at? I'm looking at my white car, I don't know why, but it just popped up. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's interesting. You see, now you can open your eyes. Yeah. See, as soon as I put your attention on those three objects, your mind created a relevant mental image. Uh -huh. Now, although I instituted that regimen when I first developed the Mace method many years ago, the full ramifications of its importance, apart from its practical values, only just been realised. Okay. See, I have for a long, long time promoted the fact that life is basically simple, and the discovery of the role and function of the mind is probably the ultimate in simplicity, in fully understanding its nature, function, and purpose. Because the body of knowledge, named causism, is a scientific examination. And anyway, some life, it has coined a fourth expression to encompass the other three. So the inspiration of the source of the name chosen, Human Energy Units, is explained in another article titled Cause and Effect, in which it espoused that energy is the source of all activity. Henceforth, in this reading, the simplicity and brevity's sake, I use the noun word being instead of the other items. That makes sense to you? Yes, exactly. Good. Now the being controls the bodily organisms in which it resides, making all decisions as well as storing and fighting all related personal knowledge. It is this controlling unit that is referred to with the expression me and I in the statements when I decide. It is mine. 
generates or controls its decision-making ability and function. It's sort of, it's, it's, it, it kind of attacks, but it kind of molds and bends, it blends in with the bead. This element is also behind the vast array of personalities encountered in life. Because it is pure energy, like the mind, it's also invisible and totally subjective. There is much written about identities in my writings and how they modify our behaviour for both good and bad. But basically, they are unknowingly acquired units of energy attached to each of us. The varieties that cause non-optimal, non-survival aspects of life, including non-optimal decisions, are called negative identities. The Mace Energy Method, which eliminates these identities, is an aptly coined mission statement, which is to assist people to be in control of their lives and live their own dreams. To return to the main theme, the expression, she is a very brainy person, exemplifies the misunderstanding concerning the identity of the controlling unit in all our lives. It is certainly not the brain, as that statement implies. The brain is simply the centre of the nervous system, nothing more and nothing less. It is no more important than the heart or the liver, for instance. But it is given exaggerated and false importance with a saying such as, she is a brainy person. To sum up, the mind is the interface between the being and the material universe in which we humans live and operate in the game of life. The spirit, which has assumed considerable religious significance, is a word for us, or as explained above, the I and the me. The body is a vehicle or tool we use in playing the game of life. To conclude, I certainly believe that the realisation concerning the true nature and the function of the mind is the final piece in solving the jigsaw puzzle of life. Okay, now, how do you feel about that? Yeah, no, I know, I enjoyed it very much, but would you further explain the subjective and objective uh, feature of the mind, please? Yeah, yeah, I, I, okay. The thing is, all I mean is this, that you cannot see my mind and I cannot see your mind. Uh, that's true. They're both subjective for each of us. See, no one else can see someone else's mind. And that's what I mean about the mind is totally subjective. It's for you and you only, or me and me only. Very good. So, I mean, how does that, you, you understand it now? Yep, yep. Uh, John, your voice cut out there, but anyhow, you, you've understood it, and that's the main thing. So, I'll call of the day.